Pinha. I was starting chemotherapy or uh, starting a new leg of the journey. Mm -hmm. uh, nurses have been key in seeing that I was not just comfortable as a patient, but that my human needs were identified. The management of these side effects is the most crucial role nurses have to play during the therapy. The following nursing interventions must be applied in order to help the client tolerate the treatment and achieve the highest quality of life possible. Monitor white blood cell count and platelet count. Monitor for signs of bleeding such as petechiae, gingival hemorrhage, and nosebleeds because a decreased platelet count can precipitate bleeding. Avoid intramuscular injections and venipunctures as much as possible to prevent bleeding. Inform the client of the possible bitter aftertaste of the medications. Administer antiemetics several hours before chemotherapy and 12 to 48 hours after as prescribed because antineoplastic medications stimulate the vomiting center in the brain. Promote a fluid intake of at least 2,000 milliliters per day to maintain adequate renal function. Administer allopurinol or xyloprim as prescribed to lower the serum uric acid level that results from the rapid destruction of cells during the therapy. Instruct the client of the possibility of hair loss. It is better to discuss the purchase of a wig before the treatment starts. Instruct the client about the need for contraception because antineoplastic drugs have teratogenic effects. Instruct the client to consult the physician before receiving any vaccination. Live vaccines should not be administered because of the immunosuppressive effects of the therapy. To achieve a safe and effective care environment, the following guidelines must be adhered to by the nurses. Prepare IV chemotherapy in an air-vented space such as a biohazard cabinet area. Nurses who are pregnant should consider avoiding chemotherapy preparation or its administration. Administer antineoplastic medications precisely as prescribed to maximize effects while allowing normal cells to recover. Another major type of treatment for cancer is radiation therapy. If a patient is considering radiation to treat cancer, it is important for the patient to know what to expect before, during, and after the procedure. There are two types of radiation therapy, external and internal radiation. External beam radiation delivers gamma rays from a machine directed at the tumor site. Intensity modulated radiation therapy or IMRT is one of the most advanced treatment methods available in cancer therapy. Initially, a CT scan is performed on the affected region in order to establish the exact contours of the tumor and the surrounding healthy tissues and therefore determine the dose of radiation. Based on this data, the radiation beam is modulated to different levels of intensity. The beams enter the body from different angles in order to maximize the tumor dosage. The IMRT technology helps to protect the adjacent healthy tissue by only exposing it to small doses of radiation. Internal radiation involves placing of radioactive sources such as cesium needles as close as possible or directly into a tumor. The important thing to remember here is that in this type of situation, nurses deal with radiation. Therefore, it is a priority for the nurse to limit the time of the client with radiation to 30 minutes per shift, observe proper distance, and wear a lead shield to reduce the transmission of radiation. If a radiation source dislodges, use a long-handled forceps to place the source in a lead container kept in the client's room and call the physician. Since the client will be isolated, Nurses are expected to provide psychological support by allowing visitors 30 minutes per day while maintaining at least 6 feet of distance from the source.
always there 24 7 with a call bell to go with it is the nurse and that to me was a revelation because I had not quite realized how crucial the role of nurses are to the care and well-being of patients on a, on a universal basis. She does a lot of cheers when we're talking about this and she's very excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> it helps that I know the nurse is there. There's a lot of support. We're not alone. We're not alone. You're not